you're used to me riding this and I don't have my helmet cam anymore it uh, unfortunately I broke it <laughs> helmet fell down and they were broke. anyway so I'm just doing a uh, non riding uh, vlog in this case my PCX you're familiar with I'm going to be riding that that is a Honda Silverwing it's in the same year 2013 however it's quite a difference between the two this is a Honda Silverwing. It's a 2013. Uh, my friend Kevin Maddox over at Lancaster Honda has graciously allowed me to ride it for a little while here. Um, they currently have it for sale. They're asking like a 3800 for it, something like that. Uh, I'm not currently in the direct market for a bike, but I wanted to take it for a ride anyway. I do love the idea of having something like this. It is the last year of the Silver Wing, unfortunately, but it's still an excellent condition. This one only has about, I think, 4,000 miles on it, if that. Uh, on the highway, it is very good. I had it up to 85. Uh, relatively stable, although at high speeds, I was feeling a little bit, these tires are a little bluish. So they're a little old. I'm feeling a little bit of the effects of that. Um, at first, I could feel the flat spots on them from sitting for a little while. Uh, that wore down after a bit, but the um, the age of them seems to come into play after you hit about 80. You can feel, it starts to feel a little uh, uncomfortable. Anyway, my scooters always get the use of taking me from place to place to do the things that I need to do, and so I'm just seeing how this works in practical life. I've run it up the highway, it's been fine for that, but sometimes how I use my bike, I run the church on them. Um, couldn't take it all the way to church, but there's, I don't want to be stuck in traffic. There's a road we're going on in 22 at the after that. 222 right. Um, now I've run it to Oregon Dairy, where I'm going to go in and buy some lemons. Okay, I have my lemons. We're going to see how capacious this thing is. The great thing about scooters is you have under seat storage space. So you just put your key in, turn it once, pop up the seat. Oh, look at that. Now, it's not quite as big as what you get in a Bergman, but big enough for my lemons. You probably could fit a small child in there if you wanted to. <laughs> I'm kidding. Not, not proposing that one should put a small child inside their scooter. Um, batteries here. There's access to the tail lights here and here. Um, for someone like me who likes to do extra wiring and stuff, there's other options as well. There's a little spot there for something. I'm not sure what you could put there, but um, you uh, actually you can kind of see. Yeah. Hey, look at that, the cell phone fits. Not that you could see me doing that. But yeah, the cell phone fits right there. Yeah. The only thing I don't see is a 12 volt charger. It's got these nice guys here. This one's lockable. You can, oh, there's a 12 volt charger right there. Look at that. But it doesn't seem to have anything in it, so there's a, there's a space for it there, but there's nothing actually, no actual 12 volt charger. So you could hook one up there. Okay. Um, another little cubby over here. Just pop that sucker open there. Not much space in there. You could fit a cell phone in there. Not much. A couple gloves. Yeah, yeah, nice. Gloves are going Perfect. <laughs> So, all in all, I, I like this. I think for the age of it, it's fine. Um, fuel filler has a fuel filler cap has a uh, keyhole in it. Well, I'm gonna go for a little bit more ride here, but it is a beautiful bike. Close that sucker up there. Has a nice look to it. And for a 2013, it's in pretty good shape. Okay, I've had a very nice ride. A couple of thoughts. Number one, I, I like, from a mechanics perspective, I like that these are so easily accessed. Unlike some of the uh, scootery type things, what I've seen is they like to hide stuff under cowls, so you can't get at things like the brake fluid reservoirs and stuff like that. The speedometer is easy to read. Tachometer, I need to look at because I'm not used to having one on my scooter. I like the uh, way the gauges are. 
I used a little bit of gas. <laughs> I like that it has a clock. Um, all the dummy lights are right here if necessary. Looks like it does have a trip meter and so on. One thing that I had some trouble getting used to, the turn signal and the horn buttons are in the right place. And Honda has recently gone ahead and said, with all their newer bikes that I've ridden, that they're going to switch that over. So I kept honking at people instead of putting in my turn signal because I'm used to the newer style. The uh, bike is very vibrating. I think that's just kind of typical of the type. Um, it's not a sport bike, it's not a sport scooter, it's a touring scooter. It feels like. It's, again, different from mine. That scooter right there is meant for fun, for commuting, and so on. This scooter is meant for long highway jumps, for old people like me. <laughs> um, I, I love it. I would love to drop some money on it. I would love to. Um, but comparing the two, I... I have to say that this is a decent quality machine. Um, again, I put new tires on it before I bought it, but um, the, uh, the vibration is a little bit more than what I get out of my PCX. But I could just be used to my PCX in this type of vibration and as a small wrench. Uh, the, the 600 in this as opposed to the 150 in that, that's quite a bit of difference. So the vibration is going to be quite a bit more in here, even though it is a two-cylinder. So, there you go. Um, the ride is comfortable. The shocks seem to be sufficient. Uh, they don't seem to be blown out. So the previous rider didn't really go all whole hog on that. Um, the only thing that really concerned me, I think the lighting is insufficient. I think it needs more lighting, but then again, I think all bikes need more lighting. That's just the way they are. I think from the standpoint of trying to uh, trying to stay safe, you want to have as much visibility as possible. The windscreen is the perfect height. It's tall enough that it keeps the wind off your chest, but it does hit you right in the face, which is where I like to be. Some people don't like that. Um, it's got the proper venting here. I don't know about the uh, headlight because again this is daytime can't say for sure but if it's the same bulb as is in my PCX it's probably more than adequate um, I just wanted to see the mileage on this real quick yes yeah, only got 2,500 miles on it according to this yeah. 2,500 miles. Wow, that's really good. So, yeah, if you're looking for a scooter and you can get it before I have the money to do it, <laughs> this is a good choice. Just to follow up, my lemons were fine. Didn't make lemonade. 